rolling up here to the dealer. We got a D-Max next to this brand new 2018 Silverado, I'm assuming. That one looks like it's specced out as well with those big chrome 20 inch spinners. <laughs> I'd take all that stuff off the doors, paint match the handles. You can see, you can see there's a good two inch difference in height with the Duramax next to it, the one I checked out before. But man, those new 1500s have really grown on me a lot. There we go, we got the key in on the 2015. And they still don't do that yet, but it's pretty nice in here. Just fill one up real quick. It's the High Country Edition. Moonroof. Certified. Apple CarPlay. How many USB ports do they have in here? Three there. You got two right there. It's crazy, man. And then you got both premium sound system. Gotta love that. It's very nice. Listen to the sound. Here. And then of course it's the D Max. There's the badge. God, I love these new tow mirrors. I gotta get that for my Chevy. Alright guys, so we're in the truck now, the Tahoe actually, and I just drove that 2015 High Country Edition, which is the highest package you can go with these trucks, and I must say, the ride was really nice. It was it was a little bumpy around the around rough bumps, and here in PA we got terrible roads. Bad roads, but I'm saying it didn't handle it as smooth as I thought it would, and I mean it is a heavy duty. I'd say this Tahoe handles it better, but the, the steering was so firm and heavy, I loved it so much because, I don't know, I'd rather have firm steering than loose steering or anything easy. It didn't accelerate and go as fast as I thought it would opposed to the Ram, but the Ram was tuned, so there's no real way I can really judge that. You can't really judge that. It'd have to be stock and stock, but I must I'll say that rode really nice and I do love the interior of that truck. The high country edition man with the with the nice brown leather, got all the features, heating cool seats, you got all that. But yeah, man, the engine is so quiet. And we were talking about how yeah, it does have the Allison, which is basically an indestructible transmission. It's the best one you can get. It's just a it's a very hard decision. I told the guy, I said, you know, give me all the paperwork, I got the paperwork, and the last thing we have to do is test a four. I'm hoping with the four bring you guys along for that one. I just have to go with my friend, you know. But it was definitely a nice truck. I love driving in that truck it was it's a very nice very nice truck but but there is some chrome on it so i'd probably have to buy new pieces and paint match it or something but it's definitely nice i'm noticing that the ford goes up to 100 miles per at least on the speedometer goes up to 100 the ram goes up to 120 and then the chevy says 140 pretty sure that's just limited but whatever so we have actually a few more stops to make i'm here at the sheets gonna pump a little bit of fuel just to get me by to the cheaper location but as you can see on the on the end there you got flex fuel that is awesome i didn't know that they sold that here i thought i had to go all the way to middletown to get it start switching up to flex fuel on the silverado but yeah man they really refined the duramax the guy was saying that they spent a lot of money on making it quieter in the cab and everything it is so quiet you don't even know you're driving a diesel basically you have no idea the steering is the steering is so firm it's so quiet it accelerates very nice. So I want you guys to help me make a decision, but let's test drive a Ford and possibly a Nissan Cummins and then make a decision on this. Guys, just filled her up and check this out. Hold on. First of all, no more gas cap, and you just press it and it.
closed shot. That's cool. Then under here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a solid axle. There you go, man. It's a pickup truck, bro. So this is basically what a 1500 would drive like. It's pretty cool. And there you go. You got your 5.3. It's running more power than mine. Well, as you can see, it's nothing, nothing to really see with all the covers. But yeah, 5.3 V8. Very, very, very proven engine, actually. And it's about 23 gallons, I'd say, that I'm able to fill. And it seems as if they're taking a lot more space away from you. But still, a lot more space than you Transmission, Detroit Diesel. Cummins. Oh, they got a Fud Rockers down here. See you guys, came all the way down to York and it's a good amount of drive. I know there's actually a Harbor Freight right near my house, kind of across the river and everything. This is a little bit farther, but I figured I'd check it out. Maybe it's a better store. Whoa, holy cow, look at those right there, man. Oh my gosh. So that's a Silverado My Body style and then we got a Ram over there. Oh my gosh. We got to drive over there, man. Oh my God. A lifted Chev right there. Look at that. Alright guys, we just made it to Harbor Freight over there, so let's see if they have what we're looking for. 